Hello Earthlings, today I'll be showing you how to set up and play Super Mario Bro Wonder into your PC. So this is a Nintendo Switch game, but you can now play this game to your PC. So what you need first is that you will need to have all these files here that I have highlighted in my desktop. And also you will need to install an application called Yuzu. So Yuzu is a Nintendo Switch emulator. You can basically play any Nintendo Switch games in your PC as long as you have all of these three files here installed into your Yuzu emulator. So I'm going to teach you where to get Yuzu emulator first first officially and to do that just open a web browser here and just type in Yuzu emulator and hit search now go to yuzuemulator.org that is the official website so be sure to click on that now go to download now go to android so if you have an android 11 a mobile device that is powerful then you'll be able to play this game with no issues at all so um there are two versions of Yuzu, uh the free version and the early access version the early access version requires you to pay one time and that will help the developers and also you will get an early access of the version of Yuzu a week or two before the free version. So if you can wait a week or two, then the free version is fine. So if you're from Linux, you can get the installer here. And if you're from Windows, just like me, you can get the installer here. So be sure to click on download for Windows 64 version so that you'll get the latest version. So since I have already installed a user emulator to my PC, so I'm just going to skip in this part because the download and installation process for this is really easy to do and is really straightforward and that anyone can do this. So be sure to download them from here. But always remember, yuzuemu.org is the official site where to get Yuzu Emulator. So I'm just going to minimize this now and I'm going to assume that you have already downloaded the latest build of Yuzu Emulator. Be sure to boot up Yuzu Emulator, run it now. Since it's your first installation, you'll be met with certain errors saying that you will need some certain files to be installed into your Yuzu Emulator before you can play any Switch games. So what are those files? Those files are the files that I have highlighted here in the desktop. These are the Nintendo Switch keys and the Nintendo Switch firmware. Both should be in version 16.1.0 in order for it to run and detect and play Super Mario Bros. Wonder. And it should be in XCI or NSP file format so that the user will be able to detect that game. Now if you're asking me where to get all these files, um, the most legal way to do this, again, is that you own a Nintendo Switch console which you have modded and have installed a custom firmware. Because if it has a custom firmware, that means that you can now access your Nintendo Switch system files. Once you have access to the system files, all you have to do is just copy all of the Nintendo Switch keys, product keys and title keys and the firmware files of the Switch and then copy them and paste them into your PC, okay? Now, in order for you to get a game, there's no other way around this, but you should purchase the game legally so that you can digitally back up that game. So uh, you can get the game by buying it physical form or a digital copy where you have purchased them from the eShop and then you can now digitally back up the game into an XCI or NSP file format just like in here. So if you have a Switch but don't know how to mod or install custom firmware or you don't have a Switch at all but want to try out and play this game, then I'm just going to save you the hassle and teach you everything you need to get started, okay? So in order for you to get all these files, I'm just going to leave a QR code here in the screen scan it with your QR code reader into your mobile phone so that you'll be redirected to the page wherein you can get all these files. And once you are in the site, be sure to hover down in the middle part of the website so that you'll get the XE file format of Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Once you have a copy of that, then just hover down right below so that you'll get the keys and the firmware file of the Switch. So be sure to check out the entirety of the website so that you'll get all of these three files here. So if you have downloaded these files into your phone, be sure to transfer them into your PC via USB cable, assuming that you're using an Android phone. So I'm going to assume now that you have a copy of all these files and that you have a copy of it just like mine here in the desktop. So it's time to install them to use them later. So open Yuzu, go to file, go to open Yuzu folder, and then locate um, keys folder. And then open the keys zip file in the desktop. Select all of that file, copy the product keys and title keys of the switch, transfer them into this folder. This folder should be empty because it's your first installation. I'm going to close in that. Now, I'm going to install the from file of the switch. To do this, go back to file, open user folder, locate NAND folder, N-A-N-D, click on that. Now, go to system folder, contents folder, and register folder. Now, open the firmware file in the desktop. Select all of those files, copy them, and paste them into this folder. This will copy all of the firmware file of the switch now so that your user emulator into your PC will function as a Nintendo switch now. Okay? So bear that in mind and I'm going to close in this and now your user is now capable of detecting and playing switch games now.
you'll love it it's successful because it will detect all of your switch games and show you their game icon so if there is a game game that does not and have a game icon that means that you're using an outdated firmware or an outdated key so be sure to only follow the QR code that we have put in the screen so that you'll only get the latest files to play Super Mario Bros. Wonder. Now, the next step now is to optimize your user emulator so that there'll be no drifting, there'll be no crashes, black screens, freeze up, or any graphical glitches into your playthrough or sound issues. To do that, just go to emulation, go to configure, and in this part, just be sure to pause the video and copy every setting here, okay? So this is our settings for general tab. Copy them. I'm going to go to system. In the system section, you can change this to whatever language you want, region, and time zone. But in the core section, it should be remain as it is and be sure to copy that. I'm going to go to CPU. My setting is set to auto. In graphics, uh, there are two APIs, so be sure to copy them. So be sure to copy OpenGL setting. So this is for my OpenGL. Now I'm going to move to Vulkan. So these are my settings, so be sure to copy them also. And my resolution scale for both API is that I have set that in two times resolution so that the game will look much sharper, much higher resolution, and much more beautiful than the native resolution of the Switch. But if your PC can't handle that, then just revert back into one time resolution, which is the base resolution of the Switch, and um, will make you play the game more, much more easier for your PC if you have a lower spec PC. Now I'm going to go to advanced. So these are my settings. So be sure to check and follow all of the steps that I've shown you here. Now I'm gonna go to audio. Settings are real simple, copy them in control section. So I have connected my Nintendo Switch Pro controller. It is better to use a Pro controller or a um, PC controller into your PC in playing Switch games because uh, the mouse and keyboard is really hassle in playing Switch games with that. So if you have an Xbox or PlayStation controller, better connect them and map them accordingly. But both left and right sticks should be set in 20% so that there'll be no drifting in your playthroughs. So this is the issue while you have a drifting issue because you have not set them to 20%. So be sure to change that. And once done, hit OK. Now your user emulator is now fully optimized to play any Nintendo Switch games into your PC such as Super Mario Bro. Wonder. So a little bit of a disclaimer, I will not be able to show you guys again play this game running into my PC because we all know that Nintendo is really strict on this kind of content. So if I show you a gameplay that Super Mario Bros. Wonder is running perfectly in higher resolution, 4K resolution, runs 30 to 60 FPS, no issues at all, then my channel will be taken down and my videos will be taken down because Nintendo does not really support the Nintendo Switch emulation scene for PC. So that's why there are less of this video tutorials out there because Nintendo will just remove them and YouTube will help them. So as long as you follow all the steps that I've shown you in this video tutorial, guys, then um, you'll be able to get all of these files here to be able to play Super Mario Bros. Wonder into a user emulator in 4K resolution and up, as long as you have uh, the PC specs to back it up. So if you have some questions regarding the installation process of Super Mario Bros. Wonder into your PC, then just leave a comment in the comment section below and I'll try my best to answer all of them. Subscribe to my channel, this will help me out. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Goodbye for now.